It's crazy season. Yep, we're getting new beers in the supermarkets. We've had Sainsbury's, we've had Tesco's. What haven't we had? We haven't had Aldi. New beers from Aldi. These two new ones suddenly appeared. We've got a Magma Hazy IPA and we've got a Rocker. Yeah, good name that. Hula Tropical IPA. I don't endorse this one, um, but I'm going to drink this one today. So this is a Magma Hazy IPA. I don't know what Magma Hazy IPA is. Is it made by Magma? I have no idea. I'm a quick scoot around the things. It says it's a 5.4% IPA. It's a bit low for an IPA. It says a hazy IPA has been fermented hot with Kyvet yeast, which creates a big funky flavour of kiwi, lemon and orange citrus with a bl blend of pungent US hops delivers a bitter and fruity tang. I don't think it actually says what the hops are. It's William Bross. They're consistent in, in consistent, as you know, it's not, I would say consistently good, but they are consistently in Aldi supermarkets. I think obviously they are their, their main sort of uh, craft beer brewers. And yeah, as I say, it doesn't say the hops, it says it's got barley, oats and wheat in it, 5.4%. Yep, no indication of hops. Let's crack it open, get it in the glass, and see what it's all about. I can't remember if it was 149 or 169, but it was certainly cheap. Um, so, you know, we have little expectations of these beers, so they can only really surprise us in a good way because we ain't going to go, oh, I was expecting better. Beer in a glass. We've got a slight haze, but this looks very lager-esque, although we've got two fingers, a very solid, compacted head, which is a good, good thing. But that is a, a light, lemony, sort of yellowy colour. It's sort of got a haze, but I can almost see through that, especially at the bottom. Okay, so the aroma's like. Slight hint of citrus. It's like, it's very IPL. Internet India Pal Lager. It's it's a fruity lager. This is what it's got. It's going to be, but there isn't much aroma. There's a slight lemony sort of aroma. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. You know what? I drink that, and I've had a flashback four years when I started the channel, and I used to when I first started drinking craft beer i was drinking those william bross beers out of aldi and i flash back to that and it's like back then it was all new and exciting but right now after all the great 300 400 maybe even more beers that i've drank on the channel since then this is it's it's a lager but a smoother lager and a little less fizzy lager and a slightly lemony lager but that's exactly what it really is It's quite thin, but it's still quite soothe, soothe, smooth. Carbonation is quite soft, which is a good thing. Flavour-wise, it's a little bit like the aroma. It's just like a, it tastes like beer, but with a slightly sweeter, lemony sort of flavour. It's almost like it's almost like a flavour of a shandy. You know, if you put lemonade in a in a lager, you're getting a flavour a little bit like this. It's all right. It's drinkable. I've had a lot. I've paid twice as much for a lot worse. Smoothness and um, and soft sort of carbonation, it really sort of makes it a lot of better beer. But flavour-wise, there's nothing really... I thought when I first tasted it, it was a bit, something a bit weird, flavour, funky flavour-wise, but not really picking up that. There's a slight sort of lemony sort of flavour, almost as if it's got artificial flavour in it. It's very drinkable, though. In fact, I think this is not a bad beer, actually. For the, pr for the price, I think it's a, it's a pretty good value beer. Drinks well. It's smooth. That's a big difference. When you have a beer that's like an IPA and it's too fizzy, it's just like, it ruins it for me. It's smooth. It's almost, almost, I won't say it is, but it's almost got a slightly velvety sort of mouthfeel. It's really the star of it. it. It sort of elevates it into into much into just above average, really. And as I say, the flavour you're getting slight little bits of lemon. 
that's about it. It's not... i tell you what it isn't, which is a thing that you get with a lot of IPLs. You get that lagery sort of malty taste, that sort of bread, cracker bear bread, bready sort of um, biscuity almost sort of uh, flavour. You're not really getting that with this. You're getting... You get a little bit of malts, but but the sort of then you get that sort of fruity lemony sort of flavour that sort of takes over, and because it's smooth, I think it that's why it, it tastes better because of the smoothness. I mean, you know, I talk a lot on the channel about you know, oh, it's got a really soft mouth feel, which seems it could be a catchphrase of the channel, but if you've got a soft mouth feel, you will get a better beer. It's as simple as that. You'll if you take a really good beer. But have a don't have a soft mouth feel, then it it really detriments the beer. And if you have a very sort of average beer and it's got a soft mouth feel, I think it really elevates it. I think the mouth feel can really be the difference between a good, great, or rubbish beer. I mean, it's it it really does elevate it a lot. I like it. If you want a cheap beer and you want to drink a couple and you think. I've only got a few quid. I'm poor, you know. The cost of living is really sort of messing around with my lifestyle. And I can only drink beers from Aldi. This isn't too bad. It's a hazy IPA. As I said, I've had some worse ones in, in, in Sainsbury's. Well, probably all the supermarkets. Which I said they're like, you know, they're pale owls and stuff. That one, that Two Horns uh, one that I had from Sainsbury's. Well, you pay £3.50, I think, for that. And this is half that money, money and it's a better beer. So not bad. We'll see how the tropical rocker hula. I mean, God, they should have contacted me. I could have endorsed that. But, you know, I'm going to go into it completely, um, completely blind. It's a tropical IPA, so it's probably all kinds of rubbish in it. But this isn't bad. If the, if the tropical one, and I'm just looking at the tropical one, 5.7%. Mm, maybe better. But if it's as good as this one, then we're on for a winner for the for the money. You definitely you definitely in good value, right? Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Audi's latest Magma Hazy IPA. I don't know why what Magma Hazy IPA is it called Magma. I don't know, but this is William Bross. It's with a one forty nine. Or 169, something like that. Under two quid. 440 mil can, pretty good value. It's not a bad beer. Starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. Pretty cheap. Pretty good value. And finally, my overall experience. Top the scores up, we get a total score of drum roll, please. It's not bad, it's recommended. A recommended beer for less than two quid. Whatever next. You know, sometimes I feel that I'm drinking so many good beers that when I drink a beer like this, I'm going to easily, it's easy to poo-poo it straight away as being rubbish. But this is refreshing. It's fruity. It's got a lovely smooth body. And for the money... If, if I was very price conscious when it came to drinking craft beer, I would drink this and think they're not bad at all. I'd rather drink this than even a a good lager, you know, you're better than a Peroni or a Madri or something like that. I mean, I don't, they're not great lagers, but you know what I mean, a premium lager that you buy in a, in a, in a, on a, when you go to a pub. I'd rather drink this. It's better than the likes of anything from Beaver Town that I've ever drank. It's better than most stuff I've ever had from Brewdog, to be honest. And it's bloody cheap. So, Magma, Hazy I Pay. Let me know if you've had it. Let me know what you think. Am I, have I gone crazy? I have. This isn't my first beer of the night. I've had another one, so maybe my taste buds are shot to hell. But I think it's not bad for the money. Whether I'll buy it again, I'm not sure. But if you want something for the summer and you want something cheap, this isn't bad. So, Give it a go. Let me know what you think of the video. Give it a thumbs up, please, if you like the video. Really helps the channel. You know, amazing how easy it's just to go click that thumbs up button and then 
the Google algorithm says, yeah, people are liking this, we should show to more people. So please give it a thumbs up. In fact, even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up. It's no harm, is it, really? Just do it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's lots of videos coming as we hit the summer. We get, we're in spring now. Summer's coming. Your taste buds are saying, I want to drink more beer. And that's what we're going to do on this channel. So please like and subscribe. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.